You know, Rocky, I don't exactly know how I feel about you selling so much nectar to slightly dazed, very pregnant women. But, you know, you were just in the same boat and now we're going ahead and please tell me you're selling something. No, I mean, okay. Wow. Why is everybody pregnant? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. All right, we need to keep giving some sales pitches to try to go ahead and sell the last of this nectar because this this has been complete chaos. Complete chaos. And welcome back to said complete chaos with our wrench. Oh my good gravy. Okay, hold up. Who just bought that? Because no way. One of the aliens, one of the alien friends that Ashlyn has actually just showed up. I don't even remember your name, good sir. I should because, oh yeah, that's right. Talk about post made about Sri. So that's Sri. And uh, yeah, that's really amazing that he just like showed up and decided to go ahead and help us out here. Uh, wow, kick soccer ball with. Look, I just want to go ahead and maybe like, like, gossip with you talk up another sim we'll talk up ashlyn because maybe he's like yeah i know ashlyn too uh also seven th okay i look i'm kind of blown away please tell me i didn't sell the oh don't tell me i sold please 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 oh good it was a grape nectar <laughs> I thought well, that was the vitality nectar for just a second and that was going to make me sad because we need to revive a ghost with the vitality nectar and we need to go ahead rocky don't judge you just had you were just you were just baby belly you don't need that's hilarious rocky <laughs> I have that expression oh and there's a squirrel all right you know what i feel like this might be a goodly amount of money for the moment especially considering apparently both the infants are now quite sad and need fed um oh my word and we only have one ashlyn to go around and she's doing her best she still hasn't managed to go outside for the day because guess what the babies were trapped in the cave which is not a statement that i would think that i would say very often but I had to a lot because they were they were trapped in the cave until we had our nectar to the rescue. So it's been a little bit for me because I needed to take a few days to go ahead and collect myself before we returned to this chaos. And I need to kind of refresh myself on what everything was like going down. Okay, let me check. Let me check because we, we, we just there was a lot there was a lot i feel like maybe we should go ahead and end this yard sale that was supposed to be like one of those animal days community service day is tomorrow um and then otherwise i think yeah we're in the clear for a little bit we have the infants to take care of. The horse is still, unfortunately, Hercules still needs trained and he doesn't have a mate yet. Oh, that's right. We keep having meteors almost land on our head and, you know, blow the entire house up. I haven't had Rocky explore inside of Dreadhorse Caverns for a while. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I think, I think now's a good time to go ahead and Rocky, like, we'll give one more sales pitch. Because he, he probably hears his kids crying downstairs and he's probably like... Best. Boy howdy, like, I'm exceptionally wealthy right now. 7,000 samoles is probably more than he's ever seen at once in his life. Well, he probably grew up, like, with Nessa's family, and her parents were also both very successful business people. But it's not like they were writing Rocky checks for 7,000 samoles. All right. Oh, that's so fun. Complain about lack of power? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Wait, Rocky, I forgot. Look, you don't seem super grateful to the people who just gave you all that money, but we're out of, okay, that's it, that's it. Guard sale over. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this early because we have bills to pay, quite literally. And we have, we have a lot to take care of. And this is gonna be a day of just kind of catching up on everything as I go ahead and let's pay the bills. Oh man, that's 3,000 simoleons. I thought we had a little bit to our name, but we don't. We don't. And now we need to take care of the girls who are both in need of things like diaper changes and feeding. And Geppetto is now inexplicably obsessed about... Geppetto, you... wow. You couldn't give me just a minute, Geppetto? Just even a minute to like... Where? What are you obsessed with? Where, where are we going? 
Is it the kids? Are you... Okay, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we going? Where are we going, Geppetto? <laughs> I've not really tried having things from a cat's eye view for a little while. Are you playing with... Oh my gosh, I think Geppetto's playing with Chew the Slime vacuum again. Such, such, such is life. And also, uh, it looks like, unfortunately, Ashlyn was not able to sell her latest things on Plopsy. Ah, uh, well. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to Ranch to Riches. <clears throat> now I have a whole bunch of random people just hanging out on my ranch. It, I thought they would leave after we no longer have money for them, but apparently not. Uh, Rocky, are you off to go? Do not go biking. Do not tend the table. Do go pay your 3,000 simoleons in bills that we have. Ah, oh, all right. Well, dang. Cool milestone unlocked. Ooh, ah, uh, Fiona, Fiona, there we go. May not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have her socialize with other sims or a stuffed animal to practice more. Oh my gosh, like Rocky's going to be beside himself that he missed, that he missed Fiona, Fiona, like cooing. Are you kidding? And huzzah, we paid the bills. Oh my gosh, it was so expensive. And also Hercules is now like interrupting Rocky trying to return to his children because Hercules is like, I really, I really need some attention too. Uh, hello, you like, your, your, your cousin has died after getting electrified by electrified potatoes. You have a fiance from outer space and two, like two kids, I waited so patiently, like, Hercules waited so, so patiently for that baby belly to get out of the way. I feel like Hercules is going to start putting his hoof down and really wanting a little bit of attention. At the very, very least. All right. Hello, little Fialana. Or excuse me, this one. This is actually Ilani. Ilani? Oh. Oh, okay. I think that Ashlyn is actually taking to this a lot more than she thought she would. Are you taking? Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so scattered. It's just you come back to this and it's just there's 18 million things happening at the same time. But we are attempting a 101 horses challenge, a full challenge, where we start off with Hercules. The reason he has not yet had a mate nor any foals of his own is because of the championship genes. I just really wanted to try to start. Geppetto. Geppetto. Geppetto! <laughs> you couldn't let me have two minutes of being able to think in a straight line so that I could go ahead and actually manage to, to figure all of this chaos out. Now the cat has to run away? <laughs> Geppetto! Oh no! Oh my gosh! I really think that that's gonna make a certain somebody very upset. What are you doing with the baby? Do not drop the baby, please! Oh my gosh! Having a clumsy sim carry the baby—I'd never thought about that. Um, but yeah, the, the baby's upstairs. You may notice that because guess what? We have stairs. There we go. Yeah, that might be why Geppetto is making a break for it. He's like, I sense freedom. I have been trapped in this cave for seasons, and now. Now, our our cat is running away up the brand new modular stairs. And boy, I wish you guys could have seen my face when I uh, realized that we have modular stairs now. I vaguely remember that being a thing. This is like the third time since the beginning of The Sims 4 I have built a staircase, I think. <laughs> um... Yeah, I didn't know there were modular stairs, and so thankfully, after selling another one of our nectars, Rocky was able to go ahead and fund being able to build this little pathway down. Um, I like to imagine that we just had Erwin go ahead and have to break out a pickaxe and kind of like Minecraft his way down. Uh, like, you gotta use like what, what, like 
uh, is it six? I think it's like six cobblestone to build each of these staircases. Uh, but I like to imagine we made Geppetto do that. and Or not Geppetto. Uh, Geppetto's the cat. <laughs> we made Erwin do that so that we could go ahead and now we can get up and down the stairs with the babies. Which is such a relief because our girls, these little infants, Rocky really wants the best for them in life. The best for them in life is not going to be having a dirty diaper either, but he is on his way. Uh, well, he's trying to put Ilani to sleep. Really? We've got a, we've got enough baby to go around. You can... Oh, oh we've got... Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> change diaper for Fialana. Um, Yeah, we've got enough going on. But that's apparently why the cat can go ahead and now run away, is we were able to go ahead and have those stairs chiseled out Thanks to the funds that we put together. Geppetto. I I don't recommend this. Like, we're in the middle of the desert. I I really don't recommend this. But I also see your your point of view. Okay. Look, here's my thoughts. If the cat is like, okay, he's booking it, he's out of here. If the cat is running away because of lack of attention, I'm just really hoping that Hercules will like be patient. <gasps> but how perfect is that for a wake up call to Rocky that Hercules, Hercules does indeed need attention as well. All right, we're gonna try to put all of these things together and, and try to make something happen. But at least we have a little bit of money, which is great because we still need to finish working on upgrading the girl's room. We really need to go ahead and give Rocky and um, I guess Ashlyn, though I just remembered Rocky doesn't remember Ashlyn, if, if you all will recall. Ashlyn, why are you sparkling? Why are you sparkling? Yeah, Rocky had his memory wiped by Ashlyn because I think she tried to do something alieny and it backfired. And so he doesn't remember her. He thinks that she's the nanny that he hired and he kind of believes because she revealed herself again as an alien. He's like, okay, aliens. And he vaguely remembers being abducted. So he knows his girls are aliens. Just all the parts of his life where Ashlyn was there, she kind of disappeared from. Because that's what erasing his memories by accident did. And Ashlyn wants to go to Sixam because there she will be able to have access to some of the things that she needs to restore Rocky's memory. Because even though he apparently still has the hots for her and their relationship is rekindling rather quickly, it, it, it kind of takes the wind out of your sails to be like, dude, I've been here since we were just literally more of a hole in the ground. And you don't remember? You don't remember how, how Ashlyn has been helping since the very beginning? That would be disheartening. I feel like if for no other reason than wanting to have credit for her contributions to all of this, and at least we have one picture of them together. Oh, Rocky, you look like a baby face with that. Like, oh my gosh, that's a throwback of memories. <laughs> But we have one picture of them together. Uh, but I do think he, he kind of... What was that? Was it just the birds? Were you literally singing with birds around you right now, Ashlyn? All right. I need, I, need, I need to collect myself. So, the cat just ran away. We have a cow plant, by the way, that apparently needs fed, which means I need to go feed Erwin to it in just a second. In fact, we're going to have him go ahead and eat this cake. Don't worry, I will explain Strawbebe, the cow plant, the hybrid cow plant that has strawberry milk later. Like I said, so much going on. <laughs> but rest assured, eating the cake does not consume the sim. It just feeds the cow plant and then they spit them back out. And Erwin has actually really gotten very attached to Strawbebe, the hybrid cow plant, which was a seed that Ashlyn accidentally picked up while she was shopping. And when I planted it, it immediately grew into a large cow plant. And I was like, uh oh, I thought I had a minute to think about that. Um, but Erwin is afraid of the dark after being abducted by aliens twice. Thankfully, he didn't get pregnant, but, you know, it had an impact on him. And he finds Strawberry to kind of be like the thing that is keeping his fears at bay at night. So he doesn't want to sleep in his treehouse till we upgrade that with a few things like lights, maybe a security system, uh, like maybe satellite. Like he wants some security before he sleeps out there again. 
And so he is sleeping in our new little offshoot garden that we have over here. Uh, and he's got like the little, these are the little notes about spaceships that you can get from the astronaut career that he is currently in. Though I really think we are going to have to start making a rule where he cannot go into work unless we have sent him up in the rocket ship, like at least once before then. Because the whole point of sending him out to go and work in an actual career was that we're pretending that's not an actual career. That's the things that he's learning while he's using Ashlyn's pieced together spaceship for exploration because she doesn't want to do it. And he's good with the rocket science stuff. She hates that kind of stuff. She's more crafty. <laughs> All right. But I think Erwin cleaned out the trash. Blessed be to Erwin. Now I'm going to feed him to a cow plant to th say thank you. Um, the cat's running away. I think the mini goats and mini sheep are either appealing to Hercules, their hero, to please get somebody to feed them better. Or they're fine. We kind of need to tidy up the ranch as well, just a touch, so that it looks a little bit more ranchy. And also, yes, yes, I want to tidy a few of these things up. And I do want to get Hercules going because we need to start winning competitions pretty soon because if we don't start winning competitions with our horse, then people are going to start investigating the fact that Nessa has gone missing. And Nessa is currently dead. Nessa is Rocky's cousin, who was able to keep him out of jail by getting him this opportunity to work on the ranch and breed this rare species and variant of endangered horse that their their family has traditionally taken care of as part of like their cultural people's history. Rocky's supposed to be breeding that endangered horse to repopulate that population, to stay out of jail, for, for oh, giving a matriarch from a foreign country who was visiting with some dignitaries a heart attack while he was trying to do a SimSock video prank viral thing and ended up like terrifying the poor woman into facing a national monument. He got in trouble. Nessa got him out of trouble. Nessa continues to get him out of trouble most of the time. And just as it looked like Nessa was going to get him out of the trouble of being pregnant with alien twins while living in a hole in the ground while trying to breed his horse and date his alien fiance, Nessa ended up getting electrocuted by potatoes. And now the cat's running away. I'm beginning to understand why I was intimidated to return to our adventures here for just a minute. But now that I have reiterated how chaotic it is, I shall free myself to the chaos. And let's just do our best. <laughs> all right, all of you strangers need to leave. I do not have time for thee. Uh, let's see. I need to put Rocky's bike back in his inventory. I need to actually go ahead and I need to pull where our, oh my gosh. Okay. I think I need to clear the table. I'll have to get Rocky to go ahead and collect all of that like nectary stuff later. I need to put these sales tables back. Why are you pregnant too? Wait, you were already pregnant. You just changed outfits. Oh my word. Don't drink the water around here. Maybe that's why everybody's buying the nectar. <laughs> And we still need to take care of the infants who, let's see, what do we have going on? Missing my furry friend. Oh, great. The, 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 the babies are upset that the cat ran away. Uh, people peeling away, feeling hurt by someone nearby. Can Rocky truly call himself a people person when relationships come apart so easily? And now I think Rocky is actually having a flicker of doubt because he's like, wait a second. Like, where's Nessa? He refuses to process that she died and is a ghost. And poor Ashlyn is frantically trying to figure out how to bring her back to life and try to fix all this. Because that was going to be Ashlyn's sister-in-law. She was finally, like, experiencing what a family feels like. She's been an alien raised mostly by AI bots in the middle of the universe. Like, with no home planet, no real connection to others. That's just the way her species has done it for so long. And just as she was starting to experience this rather organic, humanoid concept of, of family and relationships, her sister-in-law dies by electric potatoes. I need to lay my head down on my desk and roll over because I legitimately didn't do most of that. The alien abductions, the electric potatoes, the cat running away. <laughs> That's not me.
<laughs> I didn't even have to add that part. It's just there. Oh, all right. Enough yammering, I hope. Um, young child, what do you need? I don't know what you need. You're feeling pretty good, I think. Can I maybe have your dad? Maybe he'll try talking to you. Oh, no. Now this baby's upset. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, yes. And now, oh, that's right. I had to feed Erwin to the cow plant. That's fine. Now the cow plant's okay. Erwin, you can go ahead and you can you can milk the cow plant as a reward. Um, okay. Ashlyn's off to go take the trash out, I think. And now we have more money. So maybe I can get another thing to put the babies down in multiple locations. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Well, you gotta start somewhere. You're not gonna end up raising your alien twins and breeding your 101 horses if you don't at least just, like, get in there, roll up your sleeves, and do your best to get the work done. So, let's put down a couple cute little play mats for the kidlets, and then we'll... we'll I guess we could put down some stars. Oh, clouds and stars. That's actually quite cute. And also, can we give them more light? Because it's kind of dark in here. Let me get this going. Maybe something cute. Oh, the little astrolite star system. Of course, because they're little alien twins. How precious. Oh, wait, I already used it in here. <laughs> I totally forgot. I even blew it up at everything. Okay, we'll try to put in something, um, something else. Oh, little cupcakes. A cupcake trio lamp? Jeez. I think Rocky would go absolutely bonkers because he's never had money. Nessa's not here to be like, Rocky, Rocky, stop <laughs> and try to control him. And like, what's the most expensive thing he could get that is at least semi-reasonable for a child's bedroom? Because he totally would. Okay, that could be kind of dangerous. He, he would still have at least some sense of... I should be a little cautious with not giving the twins dangerous things that they could actually reach. But what if you could make it so it looked like Illuminate? What a fun name for that. It looked like little stars dancing over their head. He would totally do that. I, I think that that would be a little busy for my sake, but I could totally see him enjoying the dazzle, the razzle dazzle. Oh dear, and now we made the lights too strong. Oh my gosh. If it rains, it pours. Let's see. Set color and intensity of this room, maybe? Oh, wait. I forgot. Oh. All right. We'll handle that later. I have to turn my headlines back on in order to see that. But, boy, I'm tired. <laughs> you know what? Let's just have a little bit of a nice chat about my hopes of where we can go from here now that we finally have the twins. And Rocky finally has a little bit of insight into how he could possibly make a bit more money in the future uh, so that he can go ahead and take care of his girls. And like I said, the answer to that is actually going to be um, hopefully the horses eventually. All right, maybe I can do a couple different sizes with these. I don't know if I like that any better. I'm not really given the impression I wanted. <laughs> ah, no, my giant rocks. <laughs> Please, no. I don't need the cave to fall apart. The cave did get a little expanded, by the way. We do still have the crystal trees in here. We have a third one growing. And that also is another thing that, um, yeah, all the crystals fell off the crystal trees when we built the staircase. We need to talk about that later because they're kind of broken. Rocky doesn't need to worry about his needs anymore. And like, we can cheat death. I've got to give that a lot of thinking. I'm probably going to end up having to remove the mod that keeps the crystal charges for a week instead of two days. Because trying to remember to recharge them, I think is one of the only things that that's really going to keep us from just feeling like there's never any kind of challenge ever. And you know, even though it's tempting, to say, ah, oh, we don't need any more challenges. If we removed it all, there would be no story of the heroic efforts that Rocky is going to go through in order to be able to raise his kids. Apparently not the cat. 
<laughs> and the many, many horses that hopefully we will be able to return to their, um, to their domain or like have breed, I should say. I'm thinking of returning the cat, sorry. Like I said, chaos, but that did happen sometimes. <gasps> Look at the little T-Rex. Oh my gosh, that's cute. All right, enough yammering. We'll just focus on having some cute things oh, for the kids. And all oh, little teepee for the kids. Oh, so many cute things. Oh, the little the toddler car track. Okay, when the girls are older, we're gonna have a lot of fun putting down like toys and making sure that they all have a great time. I wonder, so supports children. I need to find what like supports infants so that we can maybe have the itty bitties be able to do something. Because I want to make sure that they can... Let's see. I mean, I guess they're so tiny. Let's see. That I imagine they mostly just want to spend time over here. Oh, with a little tiny fuzzy toy. Alright, we'll put that there. I have a feeling getting at least a few of these little prancing horses kind of relevant to their existence on a horse ranch. Oh, and Rocky's probably going to get excited thinking about his girls being able to grow up with some of the horses. Oh, that's that's probably going to end up having a big effect on them in the future. Oh my gosh, look at that. A little ranch. All right. I think we're going to have to do something a little painful. I shall pull out none other than the infamous to-do list. And then I shall boldly and bravely select one item. Just one. Just one on the list. And we will attempt to accomplish that one item next time. I, I'm i a little trepidatious to say the least. I mean, we'll go ahead and put a dinosaur in with all the sheep, why not? But I'm hoping it'll let us kind of start getting the cadence of our adventures here. I think Rocky's feeling a little more confident about being able to take care of his girls financially after selling that nectar. But I have a feeling things aren't going to stay as simple as that. So, yeah, I I also just want to see how it goes. How they, how they fall in love with each other. What it's like when he takes care of the very first infants that I've ever had to take care of. Little one, little one. Oh my goodness. How do I... Let's see. Put Fiona in carrier. What if I want to work with the baby on... Give her a nap, help with needs. What if I put her there? Okay, and Erwin has obtained sour cow plant milk. Yay, I think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I, I want to see where the family goes from here. So thank you guys. I know this was absolute chaos, but I kind of needed a minute just to embrace the fact it's been absolute uh -huh. chaos and embrace the fact that really, if we want to start picking it up in a way, or at least like being who we want to be. Let's see, tummy time being who we really really want to be for rocky and his family and for poor hercules i think at this point i wonder if geppetto would be better off if he doesn't come back <laughs> then even with all this chaos swirling around us we'll we'll have to just do our best and try to find our way Oh, little baby. Okay, well, hopefully we'll be on our way to the horses, of course, but also a bunch of unexpected happy, happy, happy memories. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh.